Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Out on the field here, snow's pretty much finally gone, so it's really windy out here today. I don't know how we're gonna do, if we're gonna get a lot of background noise or not, but we're just heading back out here to check out the old dirt work field land clearing area. It's been a while since, well, shoot, last July was the last time I was really out here and did much because I got so busy with that Super M, I kind of let this whole area get away from me, but I was out here the other day and, well, we're just checking out drainage and where the frost heaved things. We had the first really good frost in here this winter, this last winter since I had started the work down here. You can see I got in here with the backhoe, I had to drill, drill, sorry, I had to dig a little bit of a drainage trench because we have a little bit of a backup problem right here. So get to the other side of this okay we just came from down there where we terraced here last summer is perfect you can see I just spread a little bit of topsoil on here didn't even mow it last year because I wanted to reestablish root structure but this is looking really good I can take my rows of rocks out of here now because I think we're past the point of erosion but yeah what it used to do before I had that berm that directed it off there it used to run straight across here and just then drain down just to the right of that basswood clump. That was no good. So we fixed that. But we still have this low area right here. So it's evident I'm going to have to fill in around those two little bur oaks a little bit. And then I'm going to have to ditch here. We're going to have to throw a culvert in under our little access road where it comes right into here. And I'll probably have to do a little bit of ditching here on this ravine until it shoots off down the hill and just goes on right out of my way so this is kind of well I wanted to see this I wanted to see where the low spots are going to be right after the snow melt because it's wetter right now than it's ever going to be so but the rest of this has been looking really good this is well really good sand in here and we're already kicking dust over here I can't believe it the frost is just well it's out of the ground here some low areas are still a little bit frozen but yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with how all this looks. So here's my deal. Right where I placed this rock right here, that is the corner of the building that I want to put here. I have the other one. You probably can't see it, but it's right off the tip of my finger about there. And then the other two corners go just beyond, or just to this side of the cultivator and the tumble bug, other corner stone about there. So I'm liking this spot. It's, it's looking really good. My problem though, I was out here with the transit earlier this morning. The wall on this side is about where it would need to be elevation wise, but when I get down here, I'm still like six to seven inches low. So I'm pretty much out of fill because we took that sand ridge off from that basswood clump all the way through here to where this thicket is right here. So what I did this morning, I went down here, I got down into a lot of this brush took a shovel, I dug a little test hole there. We're on good sand. I dug another test hole there, we're on good sand. I dug another one down towards the base of the hill, we're still on good sand. My problem is, to get at that sand, I'm gonna have to take all of these trees out of here. Everything, at least to that far clump there, everything to here, all this brush, probably halfway down the hill there, strip the topsoil, I'd have all the sand I need down on this little point here where it runs out. I just don't know if it's worth it because, well, where I'm at, sorry about that wind, everybody. Where I'm at is, is it worth ripping all that stuff out of there to pull that sand? Or should I just pay to have a bunch hauled in? That's kind of where I'm at right now. We're, we're kind of going back and forth, but anyway. Let's get to what the video is supposed to be about, shall we? You guys that have watched the channel for a while know this used to be an old farm, going back like 100 years out here. We pulled these artifacts out of the brush last spring, just about this time. Senior still has his rock picking bucket out here from his little food plot strips, but that plows mine though. But we've got, and that plows mine. Yeah, we used them out here, but We've got an interesting old farm dump over here. And this time of year is about the only time you can really get in here and see exactly 
what's going on because there's no foliage that blocks everything. So yeah, we got this dead sumac's gonna get ripped out. That dead sumac, that broken off. I'm gonna open a lot of this up. I love these gnarly bur oaks. I just love these trees. So we'll do everything we can to protect these. They're awesome. But yeah, here's, <laughs> well, next to the old running gear here, this is kind of the old farm dump. I think you can see, you get down in the ground, lots of old metal cans, beer, yep. I can't even tell, that looks like it's kind of an old Budweiser. Yeah, I think it's an old Budweiser. No, hams, old hams beer can. That's when you had to pop the holes in the top of the can opener, but it's mostly like old, old metal cans in here, but you dig around, there is kind of a piece of aluminum flashing or something. There are kind of some interesting things. Like this here, that was an old 12 gallon crock. I think it's, yeah, Red Wing. You can see the logo right there. Old broken crock. That old barrel's just scrapped. We're gonna take that out of here, but I'd like to get in here and clean a lot of this out this year comes right up next to the rock pile. This old cast iron skillet. Complete with a crack. I don't really see much for a maker's mark on it anymore, but just all kinds of old farmstead stuff. The neat part is you can get in here and find like these old bottles. That one's, let's see what we got right here. That's a 1955 not to be refilled. <laughs> no, okay, we got no deposit, no return on there. There's quite a few of these in here actually, and a couple years ago I picked like 50 of these out of here and ended up giving them to my uncle because he's done like some craft beer stuff. Got a clear one right here. That's a 48, 1948. If you can keep them tipped up and the water never got in them, they stay pretty good. What's this? Hills Brothers Coffee. Old coffee tin. That is neat. What do we have here? No, nope, see, the water got to this one. It froze and it broke it. But I had a couple good ones I found last year. I propped up on the running gear here. Kind of neat. That's a uh, 54, 1954. That one's from. But so many cool things down here. down at the base of this basswood clump. I think that was an old oil can. Not even legible anymore. But so much stuff to clear out of here. That one's not broken. That's a 1951 right there. We get into the rock pile. There's even a few things in here. Now, I don't know how old a rock pile needs to be to grow brush out of it, but this one's old. That's an old piece of rubber. It's so hard, it's brittle. What we got here? <laughs> Wine. <laughs> 1953. Oh, here we go. I bet this was the top part of it. That was probably the top part of the bottle. A little bit of an old cap rusted on there yet. Artifacts, man. Days gone by. What do we have over here? A yellow tin. Phillips Corona ointment. <laughs> yeah, here we are. A little bit better view of it. What do we have on there? It says wool, and it's just something, and cholesterol, petroleum, beeswax, borax, and aromatic oils for minor wounds or galls. Chapped, cracked skin. Picture of a guy on there. That's kind of neat. There's not even a hole in it. I'm going to take that one home. We'll come over here to the other side of the rock pile. I don't know how many years it took those old boys to build a pile this size, but 
Wow, you can tell the new stuff. This cleaner looking stuff is everything I've put there probably in the last couple years. When it gets duller and grayer like that, that's the old stuff. It's pretty big nuggets over there I've thrown in. Bunch of stuff here too. We got all kinds of the old weathered wood. Lots of old tangled barbed wire. I'll come down here. Dang, all dang it. Okay, I cleaned so much brush out of here last year before I terraced that. It's looking really awesome. I saved this little balsam because he was all by himself in all that nasty brush. I was gonna go transplant him out this year and some buck comes by last fall and <laughs> he puts a scrape on there and I'm pretty sure he killed it. It's not looking too good, so darn it anyway, but that's how it goes. I've found some stuff over here before too. Got like, I think another old broken crock in here. Like I say, when this leaf's out, you can't see any of this. Bit of a metal handle on that yet. See a 1915 date stamp on there. Of course it's broken, it's not any good anymore, but. And we got this, no, that's just a rock. There we go. I think that's an old piece of tire chain, yep. Yeah, it would hook to a side link there, side link there, with those flattened links. Small piece of a tire chain. Neat stuff in here. Some kind of old pail. That's scrap metal now. Nothing left. I thought, what do you got here? I see something glinting in the sun. Let's dig down here. Glass. Okay, half pint, federal law forbids sale or reuse of this bottle. <laughs> oh, that's a 54. A little bit of the old metal crimp cap lid on there yet. Glug, glug, glug. That's a wall hanger. I kind of like that. Huh. All kinds of stuff out here. It's like this rock pile area was just kind of a, a catch-all for... Put that here. Just a catch-all for, huh, what we got here for some stuff. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. Bug on there. What we got here? Okay, some old bent-over nails in there. Boy, it's getting windy out here. All right, what do we have? Clinton Wall Trunk, manufacturing company, Clinton, Massachusetts, patented February 25th, 1890. That is a wall hanger, that is so cool. Oh man, that's awesome. It's like some metal bracketry on behind. Gosh, the stuff you find out here, I just love it. I don't know, you gotta be a geek like me, I'm just a dork, but that's so cool. The stuff's just coming out of the ground. Do have anything else in here? Oh man, that's a piece of metal there. I might have to dig some of that brush out. It's so far in the ground. What's this? Yeah, I think it's just another old pail or something. a metal ring down there and we're gonna have to dig all that stuff out man finding all kinds of treasures in here you got to come in here and look when like i said when there's no foliage out because that's the only time you see this stuff nails i don't like to see that there's tire poppers some old lead that scrap but man tons of good stuff out here we got some treasures to bring home look at that that is awesome but anyway Got lots of plans for work out here this year. Um, we kind of got an early spring going on, so I might be getting out here sooner rather than later, but I've got big plans for this area right here. 
I'll let you guys uh, watch, see how that pans out without ruining much. A lot planned for this area here. I need to finalize this as a building spot and do the last bit of landscaping. Thinking that basswood clump has to come out, I don't know. Still deciding if we're gonna get into that clump over there to pull sand. Like I said, culvert here. I wanna gravel all of this, make it a nice access road, and then gravel all the way from where the silver truck is over there, up to my gravel road right here, which takes us the rest of the way out to the road. That should give us guaranteed good access down to the land clearing site down there. Yeah, so the wind's really been uh, making my camera grumpy, so let's nestle down in this big basswood clump, kind of seek some refuge there. So, all right, I think we're going to be okay right there. Seems a lot better here. Yeah, so like I said, early spring out here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to probably be getting out here sooner rather than later. And for as many things as I need to get done out here, once I get going, once the frost is finally out of the ground, I'm probably not going to be back in the shop for a while, probably most of the summer, unless we have like some rain days, you know, what have you, stuff like that. But yeah, so that's kind of what I've been doing out here already, kind of some of the plans I've been making and my checklist of things that I really want to get done this year out here. It's going to be a lot, so it's going to stay busy. But anyway, just kind of a little preview of things to come out here in the field. You know, stay tuned. We're going to have a lot of things going on this summer, probably a lot of equipment running. Maybe not as much shop work unless I start breaking things, which can always happen. My stuff's old, but yeah, it's just, uh, I love it out here. It's, it's my place and I like it. So just trying to turn it back into some kind of a farm again. So we're going to start with a nice big shed, hopefully right over there. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, stay tuned. Lots of fun left to be had this year.